Discovering Infinitives, the unsung heroes of English grammar. Hello, language explorers. Welcome back to our English grammar journey. Today, we're focusing on an intriguing and versatile part of English language, the infinitives. Infinitives are the raw, unmodified form of a verb, and they're often hiding in sentences without us even realizing. As we delve into this topic, you'll learn how to identify them, their different forms and functions, and how they interact with other sentence components. So, let's dive right in and uncover the mystery of infinitives. In English, infinitives are the base form of a verb, often preceded by the word to. For example, in the verbs to eat, to read, or to dance. The eat, read, and dance are the infinitives. They represent the most basic version of an action or state of being, without any tense or aspect. However, there's more to infinitives than meets the eye. The key to understanding infinitives is to recognize them in their many roles. Infinitives typically come in two forms. The to infinitive and the bare or zero infinitive. The to infinitive includes the word to before the verb, such as to go or to laugh. Meanwhile, the bare or zero infinitive is the base verb without to, as in let's go or make it stop. Infinitives are incredibly versatile in English. They can function as nouns, adjectives, or adverbs. For instance, in the sentence, to read is fun, to read is acting as a noun. In, I have a book to read, it's an adjective modifying book. And in, I came to read, it's an adverb modifying came. Pretty versatile, right? While the to infinitive is common, you'll often encounter the bare infinitive, to. This usually occurs after certain verbs like let, make, see, feel, watch, and hear. For example, he let me go, or I heard her sing. Remember, the absence of to doesn't mean there's no infinitive. Infinitives can be incognito, And that, dear language explorers, is your introduction to infinitives. We've discovered that they are the most basic form of a verb, that they can exist with or without to, and that they can function in multiple ways within our sentences. Keep practicing and you'll soon be spotting infinitives everywhere. Remember, understanding infinitives is key to mastering English grammar. Thank you for joining us today, and as always, Keep exploring. Keep learning.